Yo, good morning guys. Today we're in Alaska and we're going heliboarding. Heliboarding in Alaska is definitely like a bucket list trip to do. The snow has actually been falling all night and uh, it's a bit cloudy so I'm not sure if it's actually gonna happen. We have to have clear weather. But we got about an hour drive. We're gonna go see if uh, we're all clear to fly today. And um, if we do, I think heli trip in Alaska, this is, uh, this is what it's all about. Careful, it's super slippery. You don't want to fall before going heliboarding. Oh no, I hope I don't fall. Yeah. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Careful, it's super slippery. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're at the El Desco Hotel where we're getting picked up for the heli trip. Uh, the backup plan is to go cat skiing. And at the moment, it's dumping snow, so cat skiing is looking pretty likely. Cat skiing will be fun, right? And then heli. Heli when it clears up. For sure, we're doing both today. So we're hanging out, waiting for the helicopter to come get us. We've got some blue skies poking out, so I think the heli trip's gonna go forward. Bo, we're gonna do it, man. We're doing it, man. <laughs> I'm so excited, oh my God. Dream come true. Ow, ow. So we're trying to make our way down, but with this flat light, there's little like drops and knolls. These Alaskan mountains, the terrain's a bit different. So we've got- Keep on track, area, and keep trending over to the left a little. Give each other the same thing, 30 meters straight. We're just gonna slow down, and just one at a time on that stupid One at a time. So our guide, Ryan, he did a zigzag pattern across just to check the slope for, for Avi possibilities. Because he did the zigzag, now we ride straight through one at a time to be safe. Don't follow me around here. Don't stray off too far to the left. Okay. Um, and then we'll gather up again and line up on some stuff down lower, all right? Sweet. Good. I'm out of these trees, there's a little drop off, you guys. Okay. So be careful here. Around the right side of the trees is actually clear. Copy. Whoa, this is some serious terrain, man. Yeah, this is sick. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be like wide open pow fields, but there's like gullies and cliffs and trees. Yeah, this is insane. I like this turn. Gotta be on your toes though. Yeah. It's close to every corner. Like big open fields are awesome, but like these 
little trees, gullies, drops. You really have to have like... Start following my track down through the woods. Keep an eye on each other. There's kind of little pillars and drops all through here too. And you'll run into the big valley that I'm in. Copy. I think we still. I, I think he still wants us to stay together. Yeah. The train up here, there's definitely different safety protocols for like each area. So we're in these like tight trees. It's best to stay together. But when we're on like big open faces, that's when we need to go one at a time. So as the terrain changes, so does the the safety protocols. You feeling safe, man? Feeling safe. Feeling stoked. How's that heli ride? Dude, the heli is sick. First time in a helicopter. Uh, wasn't too bad. Great show. Uh, really fun, playful area. Should we go one at a time or can we come down in pairs? Come down in pairs. All right. Just be careful with the big drift down to the left. this is the spot this is the best views Alaska is the place I'm be able to do one foot give me a second I'll call you this is the steep part one at a time just in case quite a ways down either side okay Good cliff over that way so our guy's been doing a thing where he cuts back and forth across the run it's testing out the AVI stability and then we can just ride straight through it these views are like God mode Woo! <laughs> what do you say? Straight down. Straight down, Yanni. Yeah, Alaska is the real deal for views, for terrain. Gotta come back here every year. Every year? We'll go Japal, a cow. Japal, the cow. The cow. Allow. Allow. <laughs>
So the gear we're in today, we got the powder boards. We've also got airbags, backpacks, so just in case with our uh, shovels and probes. We're wearing beacons inside of Yanni's jacket there. But we've also got radios so that we can talk to each other. Test. <laughs> Harnesses, oh yeah, we got the harness too. So we harness uh, ourselves to the backpack. So if the airbag goes, then it stays with us. Yeah, man. Sure. Yeah, all the gear. Yeah, we've started out, uh, oh, Bo also has the Anon goggles. Rocking the low lights today, but I guess we could have brought in two lenses. Yeah, I kind of want to change to my other lens. Yeah, it's kind of nice though, like you can still see stuff in the shade and flat light areas. straight down here towards those tracks uh you know keep it a little tight because we might come through here and try to hit some more of these little ramps right here where they all come together there's that traverse yep. just got to be able to make sure you still have a little bit of speed for that traverse yep. it was pretty easy for you guys last time wasn't it you guys can come down and stop uh cut a little bit high on this ridge right where i'm pointing at this is where we're going, right down there. All right, I'm just going to put a sneak cut across this guy, so I might put one back the other way if I'm feeling like it. Uh, one at a time on the ramp, down to where I am. I'll be over on that knob down there. That massive heavy oh, debris over there. That oh, look at that heavy debris in the distance, wow. We're about halfway through the day. Honestly, the best part, I think, of today is just, like, the views, seeing these mountains. The snow is incredible, but... Man, it's everything else. The heli ride, yeah, super special place. If you guys are ever visiting Alaska, the Chugach Powder Guides, it's a pretty sweet spot. Yeah, one at a time.
So up here today? Still get to, but farther than my track. Uh, and uh, it'll be away from the corner. So I'll be at the entrance. So our guide, Ryan, is uh, taking us to all the spots. If we didn't have a guide up here, we would be completely lost. It would be really difficult to navigate. There's so many hazards, but uh, having a guide like Ryan, who's been working here, I think, for 13 years, it's been huge helping us like, find those good spots. Oh, let's go! <laughs> so just on the other side of this lip is a big cornice. So that's something that we definitely don't want to ride on top of up here in the Alpine. I'm not sure where I am, guys. There's a kind of a little knob thing that's probably a rock over further to the right and then this whole like bowl shoot would be just fine as well i'll call you if i get any more info oh yeah this is our airbag handle as well i made a little avalanche but nothing bad straight between me and you is probably the best riding just don't go further left of my track first person can go yeah bo make us proud I'm kind of nervous about going over that. Over what? I don't know. Over just that, that reach? No, that knoll makes me nervous. I know. I can't see what's behind that. Do you want to take that? No, you take it. You sure? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. How was that steep pace for you guys? Dude, I was just like cruising down, <laughs> <laughs> thinking about life and how good it is. <laughs> it's like yeah. that feeling when you're a kid and you like take that first drop on a big roller coaster. Yeah. That's exactly what it was like. <laughs> yeah. It was like a big roller coaster with like a, a rock halfway through. They had to go around. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, I took like two turns. I was just flying. Oh my God. <laughs> that cloud was like bigger than I thought it would be and I was like oh, yeah? disappeared for a minute I know I was like where am I going <laughs> as soon as you open up oh, this is heaven <laughs> snow depth test no what? way Here, let me push it over down wow, wow. you ready yep. <laughs> over three meters we're in the deep <laughs>
little bit to the left to see where I was, but it rolls right through, straight from where you are. We'll be headed down that way into the valley. I'll give you a call in a second. Good day, man. Woo, what a day! We did it. Incredible. We didn't expect that up there, but it was surreal. For it came, sure. came through. Yes, man. Dude, insane day. I mean, the best part for me, getting out, getting out of the helicopter, not knowing what kind of run you're gonna do. All you know is gonna be insane. <laughs> Dude. Yes. Such an insane day out there. I don't even have words to describe it. It's just, uh, it's the most fun I think I've ever had. Dream came true. Dream for the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So today just absolutely came together. Honestly, coming out to Alaska, we didn't know what to expect. And today the clouds opened up, blue skies, had an incredible guide, shout out to Ryan. The powder and snow just all came together. So I think, you know, overall that was just like a dream come true. Coming to Alaska, going heli boarding, doesn't get any better. Um, if you guys want to check out the tour that we went with, I'll put a link to it down in the description. They did an amazing job taking us out. Also, if you guys want to check out any of my gear or any of my SPC merch, I'll put that linked in the description as well. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we'll have more videos like this coming out this winter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're having fun out there snowboarding. We'll see you in the next video soon.